New at 11, one very happy scene amid all the destruction in Mexico. Rescuers pulling a woman to safety by her legs through a ceiling inside a collapsed building. The search for survivors not stopping tonight after Mexico's deadliest earthquake in three decades. At least 230 people have died, and that number is expected to grow. CBS 4's Chris Martinez is in Mexico City, where, where rescuers are still working through the night. Rescue teams in Mexico City pulled an elderly man from his demolished apartment building alive. As crews at an elementary school that partially collapsed during the powerful quake raced against the clock to find students and adults. We've taken out a lot. There's about 20 kids that we still don't know how they are, if they're even alive. Searchers repeatedly raised their arms throughout the day, pleading for silence, hoping to hear the cries of anyone trapped inside. They managed to pull a little boy and girl to safety earlier in the day, but at least 21 students and four teachers died. This young student says he escaped by crawling over a wall after the main exit became blocked by falling concrete. More than 40 buildings here in Mexico City have been reduced to rubble. Ordinary citizens have been joining the delicate mission to find survivors. Volunteer Alex Osario, a banker, was among those who helped free four people from this damaged office building. They were making noise with metal so that the volunteers, the rescue, could hear that, that noise. Gas leaks are permeating the air, and the rubble in affected towns is unstable. Many have been removing bricks by hand to avoid collapsing additional debris. Outside Mexico City, people in the other devastated areas have already begun burying the dead. Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto has declared three days of national mourning to honor those lost. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Mexico City.